Hey everyone, Dan here from the Diamond Minecart and welcome back to Pixelmon on the private whitelisted Pixel Core server where last time it was pretty eventful. We caught a brand new Pokemon. It wasn't this Pidgeot right here. It was a Pidgeotto. Oh god. Oh god. Okay, you're gonna have to get taken down, Rhyhorn. I'm sorry. What is going on? It's Gyarados, but Pidgeot... I I have no idea what's going on here, but Gyarados we'll talk about in a second because he's learned a brand new move, which is Dragon Rage. I've been playing a little bit off camera, which has been awesome, and we've got some awesome new stuff to talk about. So, Rhyhorn, get out of here. Don't interrupt my intro ever again. And anyway, what were we talking about? We were talking about this Pidgeot here. So it wasn't a Pidgeot where we caught it in the last episode. It was a Pidgeotto and we trained it up hard and we got a Pidgeot because we can do this. Let me just move this out of my hand. We can do this. And we can fly around on the back of Pidgeot and we can go wherever we please, which is so awesome. And what is this over here? What is this? Oh my goodness, I have never noticed this before and we've been here so often. <laughs> what is this? Oh my goodness, I'm going down here. I'm definitely going down here. We're going down here now, guys. So while I've been off camera, I've actually leveled up my Gyarados quite a bit because I was checking out some of the other guys' videos the other day, and they are so ahead of us. Um, I think James has level 50s across the board. It's just getting ridiculous. So I think we can go down here, and we're going to do some training. I did a little bit of training with Gyarados because he learned Dragon Rage, which is a move which does 40 damage no matter what, which is good now, but not so good later on because he took down a level 48 Magma earlier, which was crazy. So let's go down here and see what is down here because we can always fly out with Pidgeot. Um, I know there is an underground kind of lava base, which is going to be cool, but I don't know if any new kind of Pokemon will spawn down here. That would be that would be super awesome if you could find some, some new Pokemon because we're kind of seeing the same ones and I want to fly around and find brand new biomes as well because as I've mentioned before, this island does have a selection of every single biome on here. Um, so we need to kind of find like mushroom biomes, maybe a jungle biome, stuff like that. Um, I think we've already got a jungle biome, but you know what I mean, you know what I mean. Maybe a swamp biome would be pretty cool. But let's keep running through here and see what's going down. It doesn't look like any Pokemon can spawn down here, which is unfortunate. Come on, come on Pokemon, show yourselves. And I know there is an underground kind of lava arena, which will be sweet to have a look at. But I don't think it's anywhere near here. It doesn't look like it anywhere. You would have thought so, though. You would have thought it was underneath here. Let's just keep having a walk around and see see if we can find it. If not, we're going to have to use Pidgeot to fly right back up. Because otherwise, we would be stuck down here. Which would be terrible. It would be literally terrible. Anything through here at all? No Pokemon whatsoever. I'm really surprised about. Usually when you're in caves in Pokemon, Zubats are just flying at your face. And it's a terrible experience. Um, I'd even, I'd pay you to see a Zubat right now. I'd even be pretty happy to see one. But it looks like this is so in-depth. Oh, look, here we go. Oh, I think we found it. I think we have found it. This is awesome. Look at this. I can see the chains in the background. This is really cool. I really hope there's some, like, fiery Pokemon down here. If there's not, we're going back to the surface and finding some new biomes. But check this out. I've already seen a little bit of this, but I haven't seen it, like, in-game, which is going to be cool. Oh, wow, look at this. This is epic. Oh, my goodness. Let's get on here. Please don't fall. Please don't fall. Jump. And here we are. Look at this. This is not nice. I pressed something. I pressed something. But hopefully it didn't do anything. This is really cool. I like how they use the carpet to outline the Pokeball. And look at this. We're kind of underground in a lava underground thing. It's looking cool. Looking very, very nice. But now I'm severely lost. It looks like... I don't know if that's actually an opening or not. Where should we go? I think we should head this way. Is that the way we came from? Oh, no, I have no idea now. Jump, jump. Oh, goodness, that was that was touch and go. Right, and it's, it's kind of good if this is the way that we came by because we kind of need to fly out the top. I'm a little bit lost now, so... Guys, I'll, I'll see you again if we, um, if we find anything interesting or if I find my way out. Whichever one comes first. I'll see you in a second. Oh, no. Oh, wait. Is this it? Is this it? Is this the outside? Please say this is the outside. Yes, we found it. It's now nighttime, though, which is a bit unfortunate. So let's uh, fly up here, Pidgeot. Let's go. It looks amazing in third person. Look at this. Pidgeot is actually really big as well, which is crazy. So 
This is the, um, yeah, this is the Charmander statue. So where haven't we been so far? Let's go further over here. Because I really want to find some of the other biomes. This just looks so cool. Oh my god, I'm so glad we did this last episode. It's going to save so much time. It's a little bit glitchy, but it's absolutely fine because it looks so awesome. We can go to the top of caves. I mean, mountains. We've just been in a cave. We don't want to be in another one of those. Let's go up the top of here. There's a Diglett up here. How you doing, Diglett? How you, how you doing? Are you gonna dig it up? How did you get up here? Oh, there's a chest here. I think all the chests are empty, but let's quickly have a check anyway. The chest. Oh! Oh, okay. It's not empty. There's two ultra balls, one dive ball, a heavy ball, and a fast ball. That is some nice, nice loot. Wow, that is nice. That is really nice, actually. <laughs> I didn't think we'd find that, but that's really cool. A fast ball is pretty nice because you can just throw it straight away and hope. Did someone... Has someone been up here... It looks like someone has scaled the walls and put those there. So let's put a little gift in this chest as well so that we're not just taking things and not putting them back. What do we have? Um, nothing. Literally nothing. We could put, we could put a heal ball in there. We could put, um, what else would people need? I don't really have anything that people would need. I have a water stone, which I don't think I'm going to need. So... Yeah, let's put that in there as well. Heal born a water stone, so at least we put some stuff in there. The water stone was from a boss, I think, but I don't think I'm going to need it for now. But if we do need it, we can always come back to the mountain and check it out. We're kind of going over to an ocean kind of biome now, which worries me a little bit. What is that? Oh, oh, there's a there's something here I want to I want to hurt. There's something here I want to not hurt. Capture. You know what I mean? Where is it? Oh, is that a dragon, dragon knight or dragonair? Let's have a look over here. It's a, it's a, yes, a dragonair. Let's take this guy. You know what? I'm going to catch this because dragonite is so powerful. Let's try and catch this. We need to gust it. There we go. That's not too bad. Gust again. Uh, there we go. Nice. Gust again. Don't knock it out. There we go. Um, let's try an Ultra Ball now because we found some Ultra Balls. I do need to go back to the Pokemon actually because I don't have that many Pokeballs on me. Please capture it. Oh, I came out the ball. Oh my god. Um, I don't know if we're going to be able to do a quick attack. No, I killed it. No, I didn't think that would kill it. No. No, I wanted a Dragonite so bad. Oh no, that was that was upsetting. Oh man, really? Pidgeot, you're just too damn strong. Too damn strong. Right, I don't know where we can go out here, but let's have a little fly because it's not going to take too long. I think there might be some islands out here where we can get normal natural resources, which would be cool. And I think that's where some of the other guys have got their stuff from. But let's have a quick fly out here, see what's going down. There are Chinchow in there, which is cool. We've got um, some more sand over here, which is interesting. Is there nothing around here? I'm just going to fly around. Oh, no. No, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, God. Am I going to have to... Oh, I'm going to have to get Gyarados out now. Why do I do this to myself? Gyarados, come here. Come here, buddy. Don't lie at the bottom of the ocean, though, please. I need to ride you into the sunset. Come on. Come on. Let's, let's, let's talk this out, shall we? I can't remember where I have to click him. I'm going to drown. Gyarados, come on. I don't want to drown. Well, then here we go. Where are we heading? Gyarados. Gyarados. Listen to me, buddy. It's like the Charizard in the anime for for um for the Pokemon. It's just not listen to me. Gyarados, what are you doing? Let's go to third person. Let's go this way. Come on. Let's not have a fight now, okay? Not live on camera anyway. Now I am now lost again. Why do I always get lost? I'm gonna blame Pidgeot for not liking water that much. So we should be able to go this way. There we go. There's land. Thank goodness for that. I thought that was going to be terrible. Thank goodness we've got Gyarados to surf on the back of. And then we're going to do some more beautiful... Um, oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Look at all of them. Let's take these trainers down. Forget that. Let's take these trainers out. Come over here, punks. Oh, my goodness. There's slow pokes and trainers galore. Why? Why is, why is this happening? But let's see what levels they are. 36, that's pretty good, but check this out. He's got a Goldeen that's level 35, but if I use Dragon Rage, you see Goldeen's health goes down by half. By half. Two shots, and that's 2,000 experience. Level 32, Ice Fang. Nice, that is really nice. The user bites with cold infused fangs, and that's pretty powerful. We also learned Twister, I forgot to tell you. The user whips up a vicious tornado to tear opposing at the team. To tear the opposing team, sorry. It may also make targets flinch. It's not that powerful, 
I don't think I want tackle though. So let's take tackle out. We've got a nice fang now. That's beautiful. We've got Squirtle over here, which is going to get dragon raged. Look at that. It's so good. It's not good later down the line, but it is good now and good for grinding. Um, Gyarados here. Gyarados is confused. Don't hit yourself. He hit himself. Why would you do that? And Goldeen has Peck? <laughs> what is going on here? Let's use Ice Fang to just finish it off. There we go. And we got 6,466 as well, which is awesome. Right then, uh, Mitchell's level 35. Got Dennis. Um, Dennis can be taken out by Litwick. Now, Quilava is not going to be the best choice against Water Type. So, unfortunately, we can't use him right now. He's a big Nightshade. There we go. We need to get this guy leveled up because he can... He can evolve into something really cool. We've got a Poliwag coming down now. We need to evolve him because he takes, I think, was it level 40 when I checked? It was a lot. Here we go. We got Water Sport. There we go. That's not going to do much. He's not gaining that much experience, to be honest. Not that much at all. Nightshade again to finish him off. How many Pokemon we got left? Another Shelder. He's not getting that many experience points. I'm upset. I'm upset. There we go. I earned nothing. Nothing you don't carry you don't carry money on you You can't be a trainer if you can't carry money on you right then. Let's try um, I'm gonna send out Quilava and then switch into Gyarados for this guy because I need some experience Let's switch into Gyarados Constrict let's go for Dragon Rage. Did you miss or oh, you confused? Oh, he's hit himself in confusion. That's not good acid spray Okay, use Dragon Rage. That's good. Take him out. Go on get out of here. Oh nothing again. I guess water types aren't the best. No. Actually, yes. Gyarados is half water type, so take that out. Quilava's grown to 16, 17, 18, and we've got a 33 as well. That Oh, God, that was powerful. That was a powerful, powerful battle. Right then, let's get him out of here and try and find... I really want to find the mushroom biome. Not having much luck at the minute and finding one. But I definitely know that there is one. So let's go this way. Past the Diglets. I think we kind of went this way last time. When we got lost last time again. <laughs> We've been lost so many times in this series already. It's terrible. But if we just cut around this corner. Don't hit the floor. Don't hit the floor. And just go over here. We've got a lot of... Oh, we've got a snow biome. We haven't seen this yet, which is going to be magical. Let's go through here. We've got some, oh yeah, we've got some cool Pokemon through here. This could be a good place to train Quilava, actually. So, oh no, I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to do that. Oh, man. Oh, no. I retrieved Pidgeot in midair and almost died. That was so close. That's literally the only way we can die in this as well, which is crazy. We've got a Pillar Swine, which is so powerful. Let's try and take it out. Here we go. Uh, Quilava's in here. Let's go to Pokemon. Oh, no, I shouldn't have done this, Gyarados. Oh, no, this is going to be bad. Dragon Rage, I've got no PP left. Oh my goodness. Um, Twister. That did nothing. Uh, Twister again. We're just going to have to keep doing Twister and hope that he does... Um, oh, Bite's a little bit better. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. There we go. Oh, this is going to be crazy. We just need to wait for him to use... Not use a move that's good against us. Here we go. This is working well. Lots of Twisters in here. I forgot that Dragon Rage only has a limited amount of PP. We should fly back to a Pokemon Center soon. Oh my god, this might happen. Yes! Oh, one more, one more. Use a bite, use a bite. There we go. Oh! Quilava gained 4,000 experience. Gyarados gained 2,500. That is nice. Quilava's 19, 20. And he wants to learn Flame Wheel. A really good move. And I'm going to get rid of Smoke Screen as well. Quilava's grown to level 21, 22. He gained four levels. Four. Also... Here's the thing, did we not learn wing attack last time? Because Pidgeot now does not have um does not have it. Let's go to moves. Look, he doesn't have it. I'm pretty sure we learnt wing attack last time. I am so sure we learnt it. But anyway, it's saying no. So let's just um let's take a fly around because we're very weak right now and we need to use our um our flying ability. So let's go over here. I think this is the way towards some um, some help. Some help. <laughs> we need to heal up. Let's go back over here, actually. There's a massive tree there. How have I never noticed that massive tree before? We're actually really close to the Charmander Island. So if we just pop in here and heal up our Pokemon, we should be good. Just over here. Just over here. There we go. Get off of Pidgeot here. Retrieve Pidgeot. 
and just quickly heal up. And I also want to show you something else quickly, which is kind of interesting. It's a way to make Pokeballs. Oh, that reminds me, we need to go to the Mart as well, because I think we have a decent amount of money now from all of those trainer battles. So, quickly heal. Are you healed? Are you healed? Are you healed? They're healed. Let's go. Um, through here, someone has set up, I don't know who it was, is a blacksmith's. So, they've set up this anvil here, and you can actually put Pokeballs on here and make them, but you need I... But you need iron and stuff. They've also put hammers in here, which is very nice of them. So thanks to whoever did that. Um, oh no, what's going... Shinx, come on. Shinx, just get out of here. Let's use an ice fang. Get out of here. You need 41 experience, right? <laughs> we haven't done much training yet. And we're getting quite um, into the episode here. Because we need to go to the Pokemon, which I think is this way. Am I learning? Am I learning well here? Let's see if I'm learning the map at all. There's a Fero. I don't want to fight in midair, Fero, so back off me, please. I don't think we've been this way that much before, so it's kind of good to go this way anyway. Um, is the Pokemon not down here? That's a sheep. Um, yeah, the Pokemon is right here. Beautiful. See, I remember things sometimes. Sometimes. This makes... Oh, wait. There's a... Am I allowed this? Um, if I can just make Pidgeot go in here. Can I take that item? No, I did that again. I, oh gosh, I did it again. I need to stop doing that. There's an item. Careful Pidgeot, come here. <laughs> oh goodness. Um, There's an item like right in here. Oh no. Oh, there's right up there. Can I grab it? Am I allowed to grab it? I don't know. Anyway, let's go in here because otherwise we're going to kill ourselves from fall damage, which would be really upsetting. That Drifloon is super cute, by the way. And let's buy some things. We need Pokeballs. And we've got 55,000. Um, we could buy... Let's buy 10 Ultra Balls. It costs 12,000. And then we can also buy Pokeballs... Let's go for Great Balls as well, and then go for 10 of those. That's 6,000, not bad. And I think that'll do for now. I, I'm hoping we don't need to use that many. We've got 11 Ultra Balls and stuff, so we should be good. I really want to know what that item is on there. Are we allowed it? I don't really know. I don't want to break any rules or anything. <laughs> Let's go up here and fly over this way. Oh, is this way just... Um, oh, what's this? There's another way underground. There's a Voltorb, a Giraffe Rig... Oh yeah, we have been over here. This is the Psyduck statue. I really want to find... I know there's a mushroom biome, but I haven't found it yet. Back off, Fero. I do not want to be touched by you. Um, around here, maybe. I'm guessing if we've hit the water, we've gone too far. Let's go around here. This is... There's a big palm trees here. There's kind of a bigger mountainous biome over here as well, which is kind of cool. Let's go over here. There's my chops down there. Oh, there's a trainer. Let's try and fight this trainer, shall we? Let's take this trainer out. What level are you, buddy? Arthur is a level 28. That's not too bad. Let's go for Quilava and send him into battle. Look at Pidgeot. He's kind of like getting in on the battle, which is cool. Um, oh, wait. He's got a Pidgeotto. Is that his? No, his is here. Okay, that's a little bit weird. He's got a level 27. Should we try out? We'll try out Quilava's new move, Flame Wheel. Um, sand attack, uh, flame wheel. It's not too bad, actually, considering he is, uh, five levels higher. Let's do this. Come on, we can do this. Come on, Quilava, you can do this by yourself. Flame wheel. Oh, quick attack and take him down. Yes! 1,800 experience. And he sent out a Fero. Um, we might be in trouble here. So let's go into Gyarados. Give some Gyarados attention. Oh, we should use Ice Fang, really, because Ice is good against flying. Come on. Choose your move, son. There we go. Quilava gained 1,300, which is good. There we go. Oh, he's got Dodrio out now. Quilava is 24 as well. He wants to learn Defense Curl. We do not want to learn Defense Curl, so let's give that up. Um, let's go into Ice Fang again. Dodrio is a cool Pokemon, you've got to admit. It's a really cool Pokemon. You Bite to finish him off. There we go. Um, oh, he's got another Pokemon. Gyarados at level 34. Let's use another Ice Fang. So Ice Fang is getting lots of work in now. Oh, it's nice. Here we go. Um, oh, I just killed him in one shot. Another Dodrio. Oh, did I kill him in one shot again? Or is he He's holding on for dear life? There we go. Take him out once again. Oh, how many Pokemon does this guy have? Come on. Come on right now. What does that say? Is that his name? Is that his nickname? Or is this Ornithologist? Oh, I have no idea. I have no idea. But anyway, let's use another Ice Fang to take this guy out. Oh, no, Gyarados died. 
Can we use Litwick to finish him off? That would be perfect. Um, let's use Nightshade. Oh, yeah, it doesn't work. Um, we're going to have to use Flame Burst. Um, it could be good because we don't have... Um, if he doesn't have any non-normal moves, then he won't be able to knock us out. But Litwick has gained experience and we're all good. Uh, Litwick has grown 26, which is good. We also earned 2,500, was that? 2,000... Yeah, 100, which is good. Come back, Quilava. Um, Pidgeot, we kind of need healing again, buddy. Um, it's kind of going all wrong. Let's go up to the top of the... What is that? What is that? Is that a Rhydon? Let me have a look. That is a Rhydon. Wow, that is huge. <laughs> that is so big. Wow. Anyway, we need to go back to the healing center or a healing center which could be anywhere right now so let's go through here i don't know if we've we been through this bit this might be near the kind of main hub so let's go through here be careful of the trees pidgeot i don't want to be taken down in midair nope this is another random location i really want to come across the mushroom biome doesn't look like it's going to happen though i'm so glad we've got this flying on it's so good it's really just a massive time saver and another thing that i've seen i actually saw in james's video he made the running shoes which is really cool and they allow you to run 50 percent faster which is gonna be super helpful oh what statue is this we haven't seen this one yet is it a slow bro i think it's a slow bro is that slow where did it go where did it go here it is it's a bulbasaur that's cute that's seriously cute isn't it Wow, a Bulbasaur statue. Everyone should have a Bulbasaur statue. Definitely. I'm going to get one. I'm going to get one. I don't know about you. But let's go over here. Um, there's another entrance into the underground over here. Oh, here's a swamp biome. We might have been here, actually. Is this the swamp biome? Yes, it is. Let's see what goodies are in here. Oh, no, I don't want Quilava. I want to retract Pidgeot. Uh, there we go. We don't want two out at the same time, do we? Over here, we've got a lot of Pokemon. Um... What is that? That is a Seeking. We've got Magikarps everywhere. We've got Zubats as well. Damn Zubats. I thought I was going to see you in the caves, but apparently not. Let's keep going over here. See if we can find... We've got Scorupi. That's a new Pokemon. We've got an Arbok over here. We've got a Parasect, which is cool. A Parasect is a pretty cool Pokemon. It's really good for, like, status conditions. So, Poison and all that jazz. Is there any more Pokemon over here? Or are there any more Pokemon over here, should I say? Let's go over here. We've got a Paris, which almost snuck up on me there. Be careful. We've got Coffings. Oh, they're beautiful. And more Scorapies. Weezings. This Scorapi wants to fight me. Let's try Flame Wheel. I might die. Um, pin Missile. Fight Flame Wheel again. Go knock him out. Yes. Killed him. Beautiful. And we've got a 25 Quilava. We need to get back to the Pokemon Center really soon. Because otherwise we are going to meet the Knight. We're going to meet the Knight Pokemon. And I don't think we want to do that. So let's fly back to the Pokemon Center. And I will meet you there. Yeah, the big tree means we're home. I found it. I found it. It's all good. We found it. We found home. Uh, what Pokemon was that? That is... <gasps> That's a Zoroark. Oh my god goodness don't don't move Zoroark I need to find I need to fight you I'm sorry I'm gonna have to fight him we have got a Zoroa but I just want I, okay there's wool uh let's not mess around there's a Zoroark over there please don't despawn be quick be quick be quick Zoroark is awesome we already have a Zoroa but um I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep him in my team and I just want a Zoroark because they're cool I'm not gonna lie they are pretty cool so let's quickly run over to it where is it where is it it's still there nice Come to me, Zoroark. How powerful are you going to be? It might be worth capturing him and replacing him. He's a level 37, so I think we should do that right now. So here we go. Here's Zoroark. Let's fight him. Let's gust him. There we go. What did he use? I missed that. Uh, let's gust him again. Foul play. Um, that's not too bad of an attack. Gust again. Um, if we use a quick attack, do not crit him. Oh, I thought I killed him. I thought I killed him. Let's send out Gyarados. Um, oh no, what can I use? Uh, nothing really. Let's try an Ultra Ball. Uh, this could be a great way to end it out. Where's my Ultra Balls? Can I not use them? Uh, why can't I use them? Let's just use a Pokeball and see if it will just go into the list. If we catch him, that'll be epic. An epic Pokeball capture. No, of course that wasn't going to happen. Right then, bag. Pokeballs. Right then, here's the Ultra Balls. Let's do this. I don't think he is on a lower hp enough to capture him oh it's taken a while oh 
Yes, 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 we got him. Nice, a level 37 to add to our team. Zora, I'm sorry, buddy. You're going to have to go back into the box. And I think I might take out this Snorlax as well. Oh, could I capture the Snorlax? If I could capture the Snorlax, that would be so OP. Let's try it. Um, okay, Snorlax is going in there. So while he's going in there, I'm going to quickly heal up and um, try and take out the Snorlax. Let's put away Zora into the PC, which is the first Pokemon we've got to put in the PC, actually. So how do we do it? Um, how do I put that? Okay, we've done that. Sweet. Uh, now we need to heal up and try and capture the Snorlax to end out the episode. That'll be perfect. We've got a Zoroark as well, which is nice. It's so, oh, that's so nice. Um, I'm glad we bought those Pokeballs now. And who'd have thought it? We went out to find new biomes and we found good Pokemon right on our doorstep. Oh, please be there, Snorlax. I don't think he's there. Ah, oh, where is he? Where is he? Was he around here? He was going into the stairs of somewhere. Please don't despawn. Come on, Snorlax. Snorlax, why? Is he actually gone? That's so annoying. He might have gone inside here, I guess. I think it was this one. So let's go in here. Nope, he's gone. He's completely gone. Snorlax, why would you do that to me, buddy? I really wanted to capture you. You were like level 40-something. So I think that's like, going to be our tactic now. We have a really good um, Pokemon in the form of Gyarados. We now have... Almost everything at level 30 at least. Is there anything else we can kind of pick on? Let's have a quick scout around for any more Pokemon. And then I think that's going to be pretty much it. Why is that, why is that Pikachu so big? Because it's level 44. It's, it's huge. Why are you so big? Look how big this Pikachu is. Guys, this Pikachu is massive. Um, let's try and take it out. It's a final battle to end out the episode. It's going to be hard because I know it's going to be quicker than me and have a lightning move. Yep, super effective. Dragon Rage work. Don't use Dragon... Oh, use Electro Ball. Yeah, Zorark. Let's try out our Zorark, actually. Um, he's got Faint Attack, U-Turn, Pursuit, and Foul Play. Foul Play destroyed him. Jeez, that was powerful. And he got 1,955 experience. We got some gunpowder as well. Let me just quickly check uh, his moves. We've got foul play. Turns the target's power get The higher the target's attack stat, the greater the damage. So that's a, that's powerful. Look at that, 95. Uh, faint attack's pretty powerful. U-turn's pretty good as well. It's a bug move, which is kind of strange. But anyway, I think we're going to have to end out the episode here, guys. It's been pretty productive, actually. We caught a new Pokemon, which was Zorak, which is kind of a new Pokemon, kind of an old one. But still a very interesting one indeed. We killed a giant Pikachu. We got lots of stuff done. So thank you so much for watching, guys. If you did happen to enjoy this episode and want to see another episode on Pixelmon on the Pixelcore server, then please do hit that big fat thumbs up button. And also, I am going to name my Gyarados in the next episode. So please do leave a comment down below with an idea for Gyarados's name. And you could be appearing in the next episode of Pixelmon. So go ahead and do that. And also, if you happen to be new to the channel, then please do subscribe and join Team TDM today for more Minecraft videos, more Pixelmon, more everything. Thank you so much for watching, guys. And I will see you all next time. Goodbye!